Have you given thought to the difference or similarities between complacency and resignation? Now, these are killers in your life, both personally and professionally, right? Think about it. What is complacency? Well, complacency basically means like, well, you know, I'll just, it's cool. Nothing's, you know, nothing bad, nothing good, you know, right? In the Bible, though, what was the, want to look it up? You are neither hot nor cold, so I spit you out, right? Complacency is when we just sort of go, meh, all right. It's okay. I'm I'm just coasting, sailing along, not pushing too hard, but not really kind of getting ahead, um, not falling too far behind. And the problem with complacency is while you and I may find an area of our life that we're complacent in, let's say relationship. If you're complacent in a relationship, you're thinking everything's cool, everything's fine, don't rock the boat, we don't want to, you know, necessarily go too far because, oh, I know some people have thought, oh, if I, if I do this, then I'll be hold to the, held to that standard, right? If I, if I push too hard, if I go that extra mile, then that will be what's expected. So the attitude of complacency can sometimes come in when we are not wanting to push too hard to be held to a higher standard. If you remember the movie Big, when Tom Hanks' character, uh, he first gets a job at the toy store and he works with computers and he is plugging away. He's going nuts. He's like, yeah, okay. And he's going to the next one and then the next one. And John Lovitz, the uh, character who is working next to him, looks over and is like, what are you doing? Like, slow down, slow down. Don't, you know, don't go so fast. Don't get so much done. Don't be so productive because if you are, then what's going to happen? They're holding, then I have to hit that same standard. So that can happen professionally. Maybe you know someone intimately who maybe has opportunities to push a little harder, but you know what? I just punched essentially punch the clock, right? I clock in and clock out. Don't go in early. Don't stay late. Don't go the extra mile. Don't take that extra gig, right? Because if I say yes, I'll do it. Next thing you know, that becomes my new responsibility, right? So we just kind of stay complacent. We just keep going. And what happens is it actually, neurologically speaking, starts putting the neural pathways deep into doing not much, now, the challenge with that, as you can imagine, is there are people in the world who do not live complacently and then they go, go, go. They push. They're willing to do whatever it takes. They go the extra mile. So, in fact, if you and I were to be living complacently, we're actually falling behind, whether we realize it or not.